Governor Jay Inslee says Washington counties will not be able to move into the next phase of reopening for at least another two weeks. At a news conference this afternoon, the governor warned of a significant chance that restrictions could be brought back if the state doesn't get a handle on the rising COVID-19 cases. They're not in as bad a shape as some other states. Arizona, Florida, their case rates are sometimes five times higher than ours on a per capita basis. But we have to look where we're going to be, not just where we are. And we are heading to big trouble if we do not figure out a way to knock this pandemic down. The governor says if necessary, further restrictions on things like indoor seating at restaurants and bars would be under consideration. We've just received some new numbers from the Department of Health. Washington reporting 547 new cases of COVID-19 and five new deaths. There are more than 42,000 cases statewide, including 1,400 deaths. The pandemic has taken a big toll on public transportation agencies all around the nation. We all need Congress to act now and to act decisively so our systems can survive and support the nation's economic recovery. Today's Sound Transit here in Western Washington joined this virtual rally, asking Congress for up to $36 billion in emergency federal funding. Sound Transit CEO Peter Rogoff said replenishing lost revenues will be essential in helping fuel the region's economic recovery.